hello everyone in this tutorial we will be discussing two more notations so one of them is little o notation or we can also say that it is a small o notation it is almost similar to big o notation but there is a small difference in big o we have seen that fn should always be less than or equal to constant multiplied by gn and this gn is upper bound on the function fn but the bound provided by big o might or might not be asymptotically tighter in small o the condition is little bit changed and we say that fn should always be less than constant multiplied by gn and the bound provided by this small o or little o notation will always be tight for example if function n is 2 n square and gn equal to n square we can say fn equal to big o of gn but we can't say that fn equal to small o of gn this is not correct but this is correct or we can take one more example when fn is n and gn is n square we can say that fn equal to big o of gn we can also say that fn equal to small o of gn the bound provided by small o is always tighter so this is correct here if we define formally we'll say that small o of gn is equal to fn such that there exist positive constants c greater than 0 and n and not greater than 0 such that fn is always the greater than or equal to 0 and is always less than c of gn for all the values of n which is greater than or equal to n not in our next slide we'll be discussing about little omega notation by analogy omega notation is to big omega notation as little o notation is to big o notation so what does that mean we'll be using small omega notation to denote a lower bound that is not asymptotically tight or uh, one way of defining this is fn belongs to a small omega of gn if and only if gn belongs to a small o of fn we can also define it more formally as omega of gn is equal to fn for any positive constant c which is greater than 0 there exist or we can say there exists a 
constant n naught which is greater than zero such that c g n is always greater than or equal to zero and less than f n for all the values of n greater than or equal to n naught. So, what we have uh, found till now that there are five uh, notations to compare the functions. In our next tutorial, we will be uh, summarizing all these notations and discuss their practical uses. Thank you so much.